I'm pursuing my master's in sport management from Loughborough University, UK, and I did my undergrad in chemical engineering from Lakshmi Narayan Institute of Technology, Nagpur. I've had more than 12 years of professional cricketing career back in India. I represented my state with Harba Cricket Association from the age of 12, and I'm still continuing to play cricket here in the UK. Despite of being the third topper in my department during my undergrad, I was not much inclined towards chemical engineering as cricket has always been the thing I enjoyed the most and so I decided to go for sports management so that I can convert my passion for the game into my profession and be rest assured that I would be in my full potential not only as a sports person but also as a sports professional. I think since childhood I was inclined towards outdoor sports. um to be honest i never really played with a doll i think i i started playing you know with a plastic ball and a plastic bat and since morning till evening i used to be out playing in the sun whereas other girls were afraid to get out in the sun and get tanned honestly and i never really understood this ideology of girls not getting the chance to go out and play i mean people used to tell my mother to you know not let me go out and play and i used to always think where am i wrong here if i want to go out and play with my friends i'm i'm really grateful to my mother because she never said no to me even to my sister she always encouraged both of us to go out do whatever you want play whichever game you want in the sun whatever any time of the day but you know things changed when i realized that maximum of my friends were boys <laughs> and and that i think was my first encounter with this concept of male domination in sports i always wanted to show them that me in fact being a girl i can play and later i joined a cricket club and in that club i was the only girl <laughs> so that was just a beginning um i i don't think that i have a definitive moment with the social impact but i feel one thing that my story might have changed the people's perspective was being able to manage my cricketing career along with chemical engineering i think in india it's really rare that athletes manage their studies along with sport although we have examples like shikha pande and ravi chandra nashwin who are top level cricketers along with engineers but i think that after me managing both made many young asp- aspiring children in my locality and club realize that they can definitely pursue both also one example which is not sport related directly but is definitely because of of sport was just that last year i fought with a burglar in front of my house and sent him to jail as he was attempting to rob our house and the reason why i was able to do that was purely because of my wicket keeping reflexes and awareness which i developed due to playing cricket since so many years so you know you you can just never know how sport adds value to your life and how it helps you improve as a person and you know i i was lucky enough to find out and i was grateful enough to be able to be ready for that situation which came around in my life to be honest i feel that there is a need to normalize daughters taking up sport as their main profession and organizations and clubs here have a very major responsibility a very huge responsibility because they should come up with policies and arrangements which encourage girls to take up a particular sport and it's extremely important that women and girls feel safe and comfortable to train to give maximum number of the hours of the day to train within a club or an organization also it's very important for young girls to have role models of the same gender so i think that appreciating and having role models of both the genders it's extremely extremely important and motivating children from young age not only makes them realize that they can do better i feel but also makes them feel good about themselves which affects not only their physical performance but also their mental health and ultimately the entire outlook towards life I think every woman athlete has a plethora of incidences where you know they felt they are being discriminated. If you look a few years back, the list would literally start with the basic facility of washrooms and changing rooms not being available in the clubs for girls. Even today many clubs do not have a separate girls or a men's team and the list actually goes on. 
but but honestly being a women athlete i've come to terms and i've accepted this fact that things will never be smooth and 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 you cannot actually you cannot and you should not preferably compare yourself with men's sport and you'll have to make do with whatever available and provided to you gender pay gap has has always been you know a hot topic and apart from many others actually but but things are definitely improving and i feel that future women athletes would not have to go through as many constraints which the former athletes had to go through one advice that i would like to give to all young women athletes would be that there is absolutely no alternative for hard work and discipline can actually change your life around 360 degree also it's very important to know that every individual is unique and everyone will have different journeys of life because it's never the same for everyone and it's never going to be smooth especially for you also it's important to know that successes can never be compared with others and change is going to be the only constant in life and you need to be ready for that if you feel that you are comfortable in a particular situation you can be assured that you are not growing and you need to change something move out of that zone in order to improvise not only as a sports person but also as an individual